You've probably heard of Zins before. They're getting really popular, especially among younger people. And it's basically this smokeless nicotine that doesn't have any tobacco in it. Well, I wanna talk a little bit about how these Zins might be affecting the health of your mouth. So why are people using these Zins in the first place? Well, the main reason people are doing it is because they think it helps improve their focus and their concentration. Some people use it as an alternative to smoking cigarettes. And in this case, it's better for your lungs because you're not inhaling anything. And another reason people are doing it is because it's more discreet. Instead of smoking a vapor, or something and then blowing smoke around everybody and then annoying everybody around you, you can just pop one of these in and then be more discreet about it. Now, how does using this Zin exactly work? Well, it's done by putting this pouch of nicotine in between your lips and your gums. Now, this cannot be good for your gums because if you do it over and over in the same spot, it's gonna cause a lot of irritation in your gums. Now, we have plenty of cases where if you put these tobacco pouches against your gums, then over time, it can lead to mouth cancer in that spot. And it's because of that irritation that those tobacco pouches are causing. Now, going back to these Zins, the good thing is there's no tobacco in it. So I don't know for sure if it's gonna cause cancer or not, but it can still irritate your gums and cause other problems. And this is especially true because this is still gonna be a habit forming thing. Nicotine is still very addictive. Even though there's no tobacco in it, it's still addictive. And if you are someone that is prone to addiction, then it's gonna be even more dangerous for you. These pouches aren't really broken down. They're actually going directly into your bloodstream from your gums. So as soon as you put this against your gums, it's directly, almost instantly, going into your bloodstream. Now I do think it is way better than smoking because again you're not inhaling anything so it's going to be a lot better for your lungs but I don't think it's good because again number one it can cause a lot of that gum irritation and even if it doesn't cause mouth cancer that gum irritation can lead to other problems the irritation can lead to your gums actually getting eaten away and it can cause this gum recession which in turn will cause bone loss and this in turn can make your teeth more mobile or more likely to get cavities or just more sensitive in general you can also get tooth discolor because nicotine can still stain your teeth. So if you're using these ends and you find that your teeth are getting more yellower or discolored, it's probably because of the nicotine in the zins. And the nicotine can also lead to a dry mouth because nicotine actually lowers your saliva production. And if you have a dry mouth, then this can wreak a lot of havoc to your teeth in general because your saliva is basically a bodyguard that protects your teeth. Your saliva has a lot of antibacterial properties and it can wash away a lot of food and debris and different plaque and bacteria that build up, which can prevent a lot of cavities and also dilute the acids in your mouth. But if you don't have enough saliva in your mouth, then you're gonna be way more likely to get cavities and gum disease. Now, not many people realize how big of a deal having a dry mouth really is. A lot of the elderly patients that I see that are on a ton of medications that also in turn have a dry mouth, all of a sudden get a ton of cavities when they haven't had cavities for many years. And the reason is because they have no saliva protecting their teeth. And there's a ton of different saliva substitutes out in the market, but none of them really work so well. And I haven't seen anything that's been successful in preventing cavities in people that have a really dry mouth. Now, another thing to know with nicotine is nicotine has a lot of vasoconstrictive properties, meaning it can impact your wound healing and your blood flow. So if you're ever getting a surgery or a different procedure done, then using this nicotine can delay your healing afterwards. This is also the same reason why smokers who have really unhealthy gums don't really have their gums bleeding a whole lot. Because one really common sign of gum disease is bleeding gums. But if you're smoking and using a lot of nicotine and tobacco, then you're not really gonna have those bleeding gums because of the vasoconstrictive properties. Now that being said, you can make your own decision if you wanna use Zins or other forms of nicotine. Just know that it can't be good for your gums. And we don't really have that many studies on it right now because it's so new. But there are some serious risks that could be there from repeatedly putting this pouch against your gums. Okay, this is a really common question. Why are my teeth all of a sudden shifting? My teeth used to be perfectly straight, but now my teeth have started drifting a little bit or my lower front teeth have started crowding a lot. Your teeth don't just magically shift for no reason. There has to be some sort of pressure or something applied to that too. 